Hey yo, what's going on everybody, it's Tyler Reese, aka Todd Killington, yeah man, alright, so the DLC is out, the Diamond Casino Heist DLC was released earlier today, and with that we have a whole bunch of new content, we have new vehicles, we have new clothes, a whole bunch, we have new weapons, a whole bunch of stuff, and of course we have the new businesses, right, we have the arcade business, that's a front for the new heist that we'll be doing, all right? So this video is going to be talking about how to get started with your arcade business, how to set this whole thing up. It's a complete walkthrough, tutorial, buying guide, everything, all right? Just as you saw on my radar, just simply go to the L that's on your map. You'll have a green L for Lester that's on your map, and just go over to that location, walk into it, and you'll get a cutscene. You meet up with Lester again. You guys are old buddies. Made plenty of money together. Saved the world. All that good stuff. And of course he wants to remind you about all that. And how he's out of the game. And then of course you meet up the real players with Lester. The Chang family. Alright so those are your guys who you'll be hanging out with. And they'll get you all set up with the whole arcade. And the heist. So once you do that. You do a little uh little intro or whatever now you're able to purchase the arcade locations you go to maze bank foreclosures and there are six different locations cheapest one is 1.2 million uh the most expensive is going to be two million five hundred and thirty thousand that guy right there the vinewood location uh the, there's four locations in the city and there's two that are north of the city. One is in Grapeseed, one's in Polito Bay. Again, I don't recommend buying anything north of the Alamo Sea. I don't think it's gonna be any different with this particular uh, business location as well. I think any one of these four in the city will be just fine. Not a problem at all. Uh, probably the ones on the west side of the map may be a little bit more advantageous for you because of the location to the cocaine business. However, on the right side, you have locations to your crate warehouses, which that'll all come into play a little bit later. But any one of these four in the city, I think will be fine. Now, moving on, of course, of course, you can upgrade the interior. You can mess with the style, the mural, the floor, the neon art, any kind of extras, the garage. None of this stuff is necessary, though. You don't have to waste any money on any of this because it is going to cost a lot more money when you're upgrading the cosmetics. But again, it's fun. If you got the cash, don't worry about it. Have a good time. If you don't have the cash, don't freak out. Usually within a month of the DLC dropping, everything will be on sale. The locations, the upgrades, all that stuff. So if you can't get everything you want right now, don't worry about it. I made a prediction that the bare minimum that you would need to have to get going with this would be around $5 million, and that is 100% confirmed. So all you really need is about $5 million to get what you need going, and you'll be set. You'll be, you'll be good to go. You can start making money with this and get into the heist, all right? So look at the different murals, all that good stuff. They go all the way up to a little over 100000 all right? Pick whichever one you want to go with. It, again, these are just cosmetic. You don't have to have these, okay? But I want to make sure you see all this, get an idea. You know, of course, if you want to you know, customize, you can do that, all right? Once you get towards the end of it, you can add in a personal quarters and a high score screen, which is really cool. You can also add in a 10-car garage. Once you get all this set up, you're over a million dollars for the customization in there. The only things I would really have that you may need would be the garage for some extra vehicle space. That's going to be about $215,000. Uh, but yeah, you're going to be over a million for, it's about 1.2 million, 1.4 for everything in the customization. Again, not that bad, okay? But you also have some upgrades that you have to add on. Uh, before you're able to really do anything with that, you have to get the equipment collected, okay? So go into your little computer that you have in the basement, and you want to start your collection mission. Really simple. You just go pick something up, bring it back. Now we can get into adding the further upgrades, all right? This is a real simple mission. This took me... I was doing all this on a live broadcast. This took me like maybe two minutes, okay? You go back in, you go through another cutscene. Lester's going crazy with his mania, uh, whatever. <laughs> I love this. That's so funny. Um, yeah, you'll go through all that. It takes a few minutes. Bam, no big deal. Now we can add your upgrades, okay? 
Now, I predicted that the income for the arcade would be very similar to the nightclub, and that again has been proven true. Basically, how you make money off of the arcade business itself, which is the legal, the front, you just buy a bunch of arcade games and you put them into your actual arcade. The more you have, the more popular your arcade will be. Now, I'm sure as time goes on, we will find out that there's a certain combination of these arcade games that you want to have to maximize that profit. Don't know how much you can make total. Don't know what the time ratio is yet. All these things will come. I've made about $4,000 so far, and I was only AFK or just in the game for about 5 or 10 minutes. So it seems like it's a decent amount. After your arcade game upgrades you want to put in there, you now have the actual performance upgrades. You have the master control terminal and you have a drone station. 1,740,000 for the master control terminal and 1,460,000 for the drone station. The master control terminal is now probably the most important thing in this DLC. One of the most important things in this game, you must own the master control terminal. This is not an option, people. You need to have this. This is going to make money grinding 10 times better. I predicted that this was going to happen. I did not want this to happen. However, somebody put a comment on my stream. They said, Ty, the master control terminal is a gift from Rockstar for us grinding for six years straight on this game. So with that being said, I get it. I think it's going to dumb down the game a little bit. It's going to make it super lazy. It's not that hard to fill up your supplies anyways, but that's what the master control terminal does. The master control terminal, oh my God. <laughs> the MCT will allow you to not only monitor your product and your stock, it will allow you to completely manage your business. I can buy supplies, I can source supplies, I can sell, I can adjust my nightclub technicians, I can do all of this, all right? And just to let you guys know, if you do try to launch a sale from the master control terminal, it will spawn the vehicle like it was a normal sale from that particular business. For example, if I make a sale with the MC business, if I get post-op trucks, they're going to spawn outside of the Coke business, right? If I do a uh, you know a sale with my you know, CEO crates, which you'll see here in just a moment, it's going to spawn the plane where it normally would if I was selling directly from the actual warehouse. It'll spawn it at the airport or whatever. So that's really the only kind of thing that you would have to understand with where you want to put your location. You know, most of you are going to have your Coke, your counterfeit cash, your meth in Polito Bay. So maybe the northern location is best for you because it'll be closer there. Uh, if you do a lot of crate sales like myself, the one that's right down the street from Darnell Bros, that may be the better location, but it wouldn't really make that much of a difference. It's not that far to get around. So if you want to do your sale from the, the MCT, that's fine. The MCT is mainly going to be used for buying supplies that is the key right there and as you see i'm launching a sale mission totally solo in a populated wild ass lobby by the way um and it just it launches it like it's a normal sale from the actual business location so that doesn't change it doesn't spawn anything that i know of anyways i haven't tried everything yet but it doesn't spawn anything outside of your actual arcade you also have a new nano drone. This is a personal drone. You don't have to use a terabyte for a drone system now. This is the compact, the nano drone. It's pretty cool. That's the other little uh, upgrade that you can buy. You don't have to have this one. You don't have to have the drone upgrade. I just think it's pretty fun. Uh, so there is a cooldown timer of five minutes. The range on it is, a, I'd say, about two blocks from your actual person. You can shock people. Um, I wish they would just give us a stun gun. For the love of Rockstar, let's go, man. For the love of Kiflom, give us a freaking stun gun. Uh, that would be so much fun. Because, I mean, you could do this. Imagine doing this with a stun gun with all your friends. I mean, that would be hilarious. And, of course, you can blow stuff up with it, too. You can detonate it and blow stuff up. So, you know, you don't have to have that. The MCT, you have to have some of the arcade games you will want to have to make your arcade actually make money. And this is where the arcade legit business is stored. It's in a safe in your office, very similar to the nightclub. As you saw right there, 3,500 bucks I picked up. I was only in the game for a little bit, so. 
But here you go, guys. This is a complete tutorial walkthrough, uh, your buying guide, everything that we have the information for so far. Anything that's new, we'll let you guys know coming up. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for coming out to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. And you guys stay dangerous, right? We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.